Get my hopes up. Oh, you run that wheel. Little baby hamster. Oh my god, this is crazy. They really did suffocate themselves. Maybe. Who are you, St. James, and your gun oil? Your magnum revolver? Your note? Your pencil? St. James had a very innocent life until he died when he strapped four leather belts around his neck. Sheet book music. I think I will. Can you please go to an alien ship and get my sheet music? Thank you. I'm the oldest woman on earth. Look at this picture. Why is it so glossy in here? Are we in Magic Mirror Land? I think we are. This is where they keep the violins. Oh, maybe not. Alright, let's read this guy's note. Maybe he's got, I don't know, the violin hidden somewhere. Can't sleep in his bed. That's, that's always a plus. I can't sleep in the beds. Focus in is worn off. Great. Can't see a damn thing. Maybe that's why everything was glossy. Nope. Alright. Oh, is it gonna read it for me? No. Gorman, it's over. Elizabeth went feral. I don't know why I held a grudge for 200 years over her. You know I want her heart fair and square, but she's she always treasured your friendship over the years. When we became ghouls, her and I devoted ourselves to eternity of passion and epicurean delights. Eternity didn't seem so impossible in our new form. Without her, I don't see a point in living anymore. Her passion has, has had melted the nuclear winter and allowed us to ignore the blight of the world. Now I see it all again. It's insufferable. I hope you can forgive the old grudge. Remember why we were friends in the first place? You will be the only one to remember Elizabeth, and please keep us alive in your bay memory. Gorman, take my violin. It's in the safe. Play a song in our memory at Blue Paradise, the last place we were all together. Quincy Adams, King of the Bears. Hey, Quincy Adams. No friggin' violin in here, you asshole. Someone stole it. So, there's no violin in there. It's always a plus. You know? Where the hell did your violin go, asshole? Do they make these? Do they make all this? How they, where the, how they bring a stove down here? Alright, so violin's not in there, and it's always a plus. I'm just gonna throw more stuff around. It's a good measure. Get rid of everything. That's where he did his uh, writing. Really? Really? Quincy Adams, you asshole? Son of a bitch. Oh, wait a minute. There's gotta be a way to open this door. Somewhere. Where's the damn switch for this door of life? Hmm. I think it's this. Oh, yep, door's opening. What's that outside? Holy shit, what is that thing? Oh, sorry, it was nothing. Door didn't open. Alright. Uh, I guess we'll go up here. Uh, always enjoy not getting violins and stuff. And this is inaccessible. Of course it is. Of course it's inaccessible. You know. Wouldn't be easy. We have two exits. You couldn't have made one. Ugh. Got him. I got him. Don't worry. No, no, no. I got him. I got him. I got him. Well, then. Uh. Yep. Oh, yeah. Great. More mines. Let me just stand right here. There we go. That's great. Look at my legs. Look at my legs. That book goes over there. Um, 
Um. Got him. All right. So after much deliberation, um, there there's a walkthrough in the. Uh, there's a damn walkthrough in the in the mod, and uh, I'm just using that because I have no idea what the hell I'm supposed to do. Why is everything so dark? So we have to go to Paradise Rentals right over here. Look at that, beautiful. Now I could have spawned over there, but it's it's just that much more exciting if I if I slowly walk over there, nonchalantly, with my giant metal rebar weapon. That has scratches in it. Mm. So, we're gonna go find some violins or something. Multiple violins. We're gonna find so many violins, we're gonna start an orchestra. What are you doing over there? You're getting killed. Next weapon. This one. We've already looked at this one, I think. I like this one. It, it shoots like explosive bullets. Not as powerful as the other one, but... But whatever, it's explosive. Next weapon. Same thing. Why are they why are they the same? I don't understand. Let's take a look, shall we? Wrong thing. So we got explosive and then we got high explosive. You know. If you want your day to be that much rich richer. Holy shit! Uh, yeah. Yeah, this is a lot more high explosive. Thanks, asshole. <laughs> oh my god. This is amazingly cheap and not good for close combat whatsoever. So, now that I've effectively blown my eyes out, let's continue killing things. Oh, honey, we got some visitors out for our picnic. And that's how I killed all the leg legs. You son of a bitch. What is this one? This one's gonna shoot fucking laser beams out of the sky. Or just out of the gun. This is awesome. I like this. Oh. Animation. Most disgusting thing ever. Um, where is it? I don't know what these are from. Because I don't... Th I would have... I, I don't know. I wouldn't imagine these are custom made. Um, but they might be. I know a good amount of these were ported over from some other games, so... Hey there, Motatron, are you a giant asshole? I think you are. Look, I can't go into this because, uh, you know. Collision mesh. Collision mesh for an umbrella. Just a giant square. Yeah. Yeah, thanks a lot. Assholes. Oh, look, thank you, Steve. You found it. You like my blue. Can't pick this shit up? Bullshit. What do you know about violence? How do you like the view? It's nice. You and I think alike. I've always enjoyed waterscapes and blah blah blah. It adds a certain solemnness to it all. I mean, to be morbid, I respect the implications of death for humans. You went through all that effort to get that violin. You should ask yourself why. Curiosity, a desire to please Sarah, to sell the thing. I want you to consider your motivation in this. What do you think will happen when you see Sarah again? She's is she dead? You've been reborn and started a new baby life. Sarah is your Paris and cannot play a role in your future. Like a gecko, you have shed your old skin, letting something new shine through. Cancer. You should start considering your motives in all this. I wouldn't want you affecting major change in this world without knowing who you are. Where's this rebirth of yours going? Major change in the world? I just bought a violin. Calm down. Maybe we can ache out some answers at Sarah's house. It's located in Prince, south of, south of the Mojave Express building. Okay. Let's go to Prim, everyone. Visit my dead girlfriend. If she's dead, I don't know if she's dead. I may have spoiled it. Spoiler alert! Um, Prim. If I were Prim, I would be... Right... Right about... 
right about, uh, I were prim. I were, there we go, only took me a fucking year, great. Um, by the way, that loading wheel, uh, that was made by Darziak. I kind of didn't mention it in the last video because I just wanted to see uh, if you guys would mention it, which you kind of vaguely did. I know some of you guys mentioned it, but yeah, it's mentioned. Uh, it was made by Darziak. Um, it wasn't. I don't know. We were just talking, and he just made it for fun, for shits and giggles. So, uh, if you guys want it, I know some of you said I should make some custom stuff, which I might. Um, I say that with the hopes I know how to do things which I don't so if I had the technical aptitude I would but I don't so um I don't know maybe I'll put the hamster thing up I'll get Darziak's permission maybe he could upload it if you guys want it but yeah that's the mystery alright so uh, he told me a bunch of stupid crap and now I forgot um, south of the Mojave Express. So the Mojave Express is this way. There's like 18 houses. Seventeen too many. Ooh, look at this. That's awesome. Yeah, recoil. That's what I'm talking about. Boom. Look at those spikes in my view. Boom. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Oh, this gun is so hot. Oh. It's red. It's red. It means we're not supposed to go in there. I'm gonna get in your face so hard. Alright. Don't know which house this is supposed to be in. I'm gonna guess it's whatever house is. Or it's this one. That's a Sarah's house. Sarah left some mines around here. Sarah always wanted me to make some uh, things over here. So I'm going to make five microfusion cells. Oh, <gasps> She got raped. Oh, no. First thing to do is steal her clothes. Johnny Guitar Sheet Music. Also known as Johnny Be Good. She got raped. Wait, so who the hell is Sarah? The fuck is Sarah? The fuck is Sarah? Tell me in the comments. Who's Sarah? I don't. I, I'm not following this story at all. Whatever. I don't care. Sarah was sleeping when, out of nowhere, her broken personal assistant came. To comfort her. There we go. Beautiful. Look at that. That's so sexy. So let's see what Sarah's got on her. Nothing because she's a hooker. God damn it. Oh. <gasps> Take this. What are, what are these used for? These are like all over. The hell is a whetstone? Who has whetstones? That's the question. You're all waiting for me to look at that computer, but I'm not going to look at it. I'm going to throw everything off this desk first. Except for this wrench. Just in case. But these tweezers. Get out of here. Alright, great. Let's take a seat. God damn it. Wow. Sarah had some goddamn carpal tunnel. Copyright Rapco. Welcome, Yozia. <laughs> what? Well, memo to Johnson Nash. Most country name ever. Johnson, I've almost got that Mr. Handy up and running. I just need to install a couple of capacitors, bypass some of the fried chickens. That will get the robot up and running and should be good to go for courier duty. I hate to say it, but my work on this robot might put my little pony out of work. But that's okay. I have plans to expand my repair business and make enough caps so we can go to Disneyland. I'll be by in a few days with the new robot. Hopefully I won't be dead. Mr. Handy repair log. Found Mr. Handy. Bought some stuff. I can fix it. I'm gonna fix it. Fixing it. And I died. Load Mr. Handy program. Connection error, dickface. Click me. I'm virus. 
Hey friend, it's me, Emochitrons. So Sarah's dead. How does that make you feel? I don't really care. Understandable. Just think about it, though. She meant something to somebody, even if you don't remember that somebody. Perhaps you should care. Perhaps you should do something about it. Think about this for me and come back. Okay. Ha ha ha! You mean-spirited bastard. Yeah, okay. I don't know what to think. Of course, Sarah, that represents your past life. You're no longer that person. You no longer have any connection to that life. But aren't you a little curious what it means for you? Think about it and get back to me. I'm upset. Understandable. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, wait a minute. Shit, I should be reading this. Do you know why you feel that way up until now? You had forgotten about her. Wow, a monotron's a dumbass. Like, I just gave him every other possible answer until he gave me what I wanted. If it makes you feel better, she was murdered in cold blood by a psychopathic escape comrade from Nukafurf. You can still even the score if you're so inclined. I can help you get a touchdown. If you want revenge, select the revenge option. Revenge doesn't always provide solace to the human soul. Sometimes there are other ways of dealing with pain. I can help with that too. Select the solace option on this terminal and I'll set you up, bud. Wait, there's more. Did you notice the harmonica on the coffee table in the living room? You and Sarah used to play music together and it sounded like ass. But where's her instrument? Would she play alongside your harmonica? Sarah was a clever one, so I suspect her instrument is more than meets the eye. Transformers. Whatever it was, it probably would have sounded very much like a violin. When you find it, I have a special... Wait. One paired with a violin. Okay, so... When you find it, have a special scanner here at my place so I can take a look at it. You're the master, you new persona, your decisions are your own. It's not that my intent to influence those decisions only help you consider when you make what's in the instances of human prophecy and often... Solace. That's not who you used to be. You've gone soft. Sad face. I'm not judging, and I've just got the prescription. Just so happens that some junkies forgot a box full of goodies and cart in Bonnie Springs, who extraordinary means I obtained the key for this box. I do hope you find solace in the box. I mentioned it. I bid you adieu. Uh. Really? That's my fucking ending? I get to do a bunch of goddamn drugs? Who the fuck killed her? I can still know who killed her. Asshole. Really? That's my ending? Oh my god, suck a dick. Well, I'm just gonna load my uh, last save here. There it goes. Uh... Really? This is my last save game? This is my last goddamn save? This save's like a thousand years old. Oh look, last auto. Oh, there we go. I guess it la loaded the last quick. Jesus Christ. Revenge. Revenge. Sarah. Click me. Revenge. Ah, good. You do remember her, even if it's just a little bit of baby. Seems that Sarah still invokes some emotion that makes me happy. Revenge isn't always the answer, but in this case, sure, let's do it. It's not as boring as Solace. It is what Sarah would have wanted, really. She was a stupid, mean bitch. Blah, 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 blah. I've been watching Sarah's killer, in case he might come along. His name is Murderin' Mel. He was incarcerated at Uncover for his heinous crimes in California. He's a tough little banana, and five Power Rangers couldn't bring him down. The six just got lucky. Murder Mel could currently hangs out at... Walking box cavern. Happen I happen know where you can find some supplies that will help you with your vengeance scheme. Go to the searchlight police station and check in on the communications terminal. That should get you started. Oh, and you'll need some randy. You'll know when it happens. If you don't have any you know a quick fix at a campfire, combined vodka. Okay, thanks. I'll meet you at the cavern. Uh so I have to go to search airport. Um, walking box cavern. I've never heard of that. Well, we're going to searchlight, I guess. Again. So this is what I skipped. Uh, everything. The whole plot. And this is why you should probably have quests. Because, uh, it just makes it that much easier for me. Well, whatever. Everyone else seems to have, uh, a dandy do time with it. Except for me. So I got a hamster for a loading wheel. Here we are. Hello, family. 
Whoa, this shotgun is not that good. Although I am spoiled by a giant nuke gun. Oh, my leg is stuck and I'm yawning and there's some pudding under my chair. And... Reviewed. Ooh, look at that gun. This gun's cool. It's like a little baby gun. Hello, baby gun. Hey there. You're not gonna die. You are. A little baby gun killed you. So that's what I was supposed to do before. Um de dum de dum de dum dim de do Oh a note. Oh, a fucking note. What's the matter? Is this what I was supposed to pick up? Nope. Nope again. Hum de dum Check out the communications terminal. Oh really? What the fuck? Hum de dum de dum de dum Oh by the way, you don't have a key, asshole. No. No radio. Hero? Housekeeping. You know, you'd think I could just reach through the broken glass to open this door, but no. My character is an asshole. With our powers combined, I can break every bobby pin on Earth. In Earth, not even on it. Fuck that. Oh, are you okay? Yes. Yes. No. What, were you locked in here? You couldn't get out? A pretty neat rug. <clears throat> oh, I'm gonna run out of bullets. Well, this gun's been reviewed. Let's move on to the next one. Wrong thing. Two, a three, a four, five, six, Oh, the debug pistol. I was playing with that before. Oh, this gun, this shotgun's cool. I played with this before. Yeah. It's not actually not that exciting. I make it sound a lot more exciting than it is. So, here we have another shitty room. This is always good. And another door with a key. Uh, not sure if I need a key, but screw that. I've already broken this mod enough, so fuck it. Server 7. That's always, that's always good. Are you ready to enter server 7? No. Why the hell would I want to do that? Okay. What was I supposed to even be looking for here? God, I'm falling asleep. It's like 2 in the afternoon. Hmm. Is there a midget in here? No, it's not a midget. Oh, a scanner. Fuck you, I don't care. Whoops. I cheated. Big deal. Whoa, what's that thing outside? Uh, I guess it was none. Silverware. Who's eating scrap electronics? Is this a Mototrons? Let's see what you have there. Nothing. I have nothing. I have nothing. Okay, I have nothing. I, I don't know what's going on. Thanks for coming by. I need your help with something. What's going on? You lived your life out there in the Mavi is fine. For centuries I have lived my life in Server 7. It's my home, my playground, my workspace, and my family. Recently Server 7 is coming on track from a new program called War Machine Sad Face. It has been destroying my support programs and making life generally difficult for me. I've lost 15% of my blah blah blah. I don't care. War Machine must be eliminated. Unfortunately, I cannot simply delete it as a malicious program that only seems to get strong every time I flush out of my city. You have to remove some. You know, I don't even know who you are, Emotatron. Who I am. Who I am. Oh. Designed before the Great War, I was created to monitor air traffic flight plans. This is with gu guiding landings. I was given enormous freedom to access remote terminals. Blah 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 blah. 
program and after the war and stuff happened and other things I was understanding the humanity and interacting was great and I went in the server and there were some people there and I downloaded some porn I got some malware and I took the name Emotatron because it was awesome and then I wrote a book about myself and I put it on Amazon.com and I made a lot of money William McCarthy Based on the data, William McCarthy is a pre-war program of war machine. It was designed to identify us from, uh, I don't know how it survived the bombings or when it became corrupt and I decided it was common. I just wanted to... Thank you. Great. All right. Yes. Oh, God. I don't care. At all. No offense to the mod maker. I just, I, I just don't care. Alright. Whole lot of nothing going on. Back in Tron. Ow! I don't have time for this. No. What? What is this, Gears of War? Ow, my fucking head and my arms. Oh shit, balls! Oh god, you were much stronger than I previously mentioned. Yes, everyone come back in here and hide. Reviewed. Shit. Ooh. There we go. Yeah. 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 Oh, my head's broken. It's always good. And I don't have anything else. Sweet deal. Look at you. Everyone get up. Nap time's over. Damn it. Holy Jesus, you are very big. I didn't imagine you were that big. War Machines program. I'm gonna make you a little baby. Okay. I'm gonna... I'm gonna make you a little baby. Son of a bitch. I'm not up to date. Whoa, someone's having a good time. Open door to the other part of the server. That doesn't make any sense. Huzzah! Points. That's what I get. Experience points. Alright, delete program. War tech server sounds are great. I know he's gone. We've received the Matrix. It's amazing. Hey, I killed that asshole. It's done, asshole. Good job. I'm glad you could sort out War Machine. Now I can go back to helping out the good people of the Wasteland by mocking them and telling people that their friends are dead. I hope by now you've been able to fix Jasmine's Stargazer. Nope, that little toy can really take you places. Yeah. But wait, there's more! For being such a big help, I'll tell you about some good old-fashioned homestyle cooking that might help you along your way. At a campfire, I'll see you around, my friend. I'm gonna work on flexing up my home. Whoa. There we are. Fuck you. Alright, everyone. Um, really do not have the stomach to figure out what happened to Sarah or to get a harmonica or the kazoo or whatever the hell she wants or something. 
Not really feeling this mod. I've done three parts already. Uh, my balls are pretty itchy. And you know, we're all hungry. We, you, we've been playing this non-stop. I, I know it seems like there have been, been breaks in between, but no. No breaks. Just someone cut the brake line, and we are just flying straight towards death. So, um, you know what I'm going to do? Um, I'm going to end this here. If you guys want to see the rest of this, say, hey, dickface, you should probably finish this, asshole. And then I'll finish it. But if not, I bid you adieu, and I will see you in the future. You so goofy, Rad Scorpion. You're so dead. Oh man, I wanted to get the last shot. You guys suck. Oh, wait, 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 there's someone here. Hey there. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry. Steve's not sorry.